everybody and welcome back to a very special episode of KTV. My name is Hannah. My name is Zach. And it is Easter Sunday. It is. Hannah, we are going to be doing a bunch of different Easter activities throughout the day today. What is our first activity? It is probably like the number one Easter activity. It's what I look forward to in terms of activities. An Easter yeah. egg hunt. Absolutely. We have 300,000 eggs. Hidden, hidden around the space and we have our hunters ready to go. Hunters, Who are you ready? Who do you think is going to yeah, they're ready. find the most eggs? Me. You're wrong, it's me. It's me. Alrighty, are we ready? Ready. Let's go. Three, two, two one, hunt! Go. segment. Um, there's some very exciting things happening behind us, Harry. Yes. Um, what are our fellow KTV friends up to? Well, I think it's about time that we had an Easter hot cross bun eating competition. Yes, I love it. Do we have any ground rules? Okay, rule one, you cannot, the eater cannot touch the hot Ooh, cross bun. Oh, I like it. Their ha just uh, only their just... mouth can eat, touch it. <laughs> Can't touch it with your hands. <laughs> Uh, no poking, mm -hmm. no scratching, no biting, no eye gouging. Yep. Just good, clean competition. Yes. So we've got the ETs and the feeders. Feeders? <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, what does our winning team oh. win, Harry? Well, that's a great point because I have under here <laughs> a giant Easter egg Amazing. for us. For the winners of this <laughs> challenge. Who's gonna, who's gonna win this Easter egg? Yeah. Me, 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 me. All right. Shall we see who the fastest eaters and feeders are? <laughs> Ready? Three, Three two, two, one, go! Oh, oh my goodness! It's going go pretty well. Come on, John. Eat it! Oh, no, some foul play. Yeah. 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 
Give it a round of applause, everybody. Well done. Um, while the rest of the team finish their hot cross buns, we're going to head to teaching. So we'll see you soon. Happy Easter, everyone. Today is a great day because today we get to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. But first, we have to rewind a bit because lots has happened between Palm Sunday, what we learned about last week, and Easter Sunday, which we celebrate today. On Palm Sunday, we heard about how Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. Hundreds of people were shouting Hosanna and waving palm branches. They wanted to praise and honor Jesus because they knew that Jesus was the king. But sadly, there were also many people in Jerusalem who didn't want Jesus to be king. And they had a plan, a plan to arrest and kill Jesus. What? No. But yes. That was what happened that very first Easter. Let's read what happened. The religious leaders told the governor Pilate that Jesus was dangerous and wanted to be king. Pilate asked Jesus, is this true? I am king, Jesus answered, but not of this world. Jesus is innocent, said Pilate. There's no reason to kill him. I will set him free. But the crowd shouted, kill him. So Pilate had his soldiers whip Jesus. They forced a crown, a thorny crown on his head. Then they laid a wooden cross on his back and led him up a hill. There on that hill, the Roman soldiers nailed Jesus to the cross, hands and feet. Then they rose it high. Jesus hung there between two criminals. Around noon, the sky turned dark. Jesus' friends wept. The religious leaders laughed and said, You saved other people. Why can't you save yourself? Forgive them, Father, said Jesus. When the time came for Jesus to die, he closed his eyes and said, It is finished. He had completed what he had come to do because of his great love. One of Jesus' followers, a man named Joseph, put Jesus' body in a brand new tomb. He rolled a huge stone in front of it. A long and sad Friday was over. Jesus, a king, the son of God, was killed as a criminal. Rather than wearing a crown of jewels, Jesus wore a crown of thorns. It was a very, very sad day, but that wasn't the end of the story. Let's keep reading. Sunday morning. Some women went to put burial spices on Jesus' body. They knew a big stone was covering the tomb's entrance and wondered how they would get in. When they arrived, the stone had already been moved. Jesus' body was gone and there were angels in the tomb. Jesus is alive, the angel said. Go tell his disciples. The women told the disciples, and Peter and John ran to Jesus' tomb to see for themselves. All they found were Jesus' burial clothes. They went back home confused. Later, the disciples were gathered together in a room. They were talking about what had happened when Jesus appeared to them. They were terrified. They thought he was a ghost. Don't worry, said Jesus. See my hands and my feet? It's me. Touch me. Go on. You can't touch a ghost. And ghosts don't eat either, but I am feeling really hungry. So he ate some fish. Then he taught them. The scriptures are clear, he said. The Messiah was supposed to suffer and die and then be risen from the dead. Now tell the world what you have seen. 
Let everyone know that their sins can be forgiven if they turn to God. It's possible because what I have done. You see, Jesus really is the Son of God. And God knew that what knew what would happen all along. It was part of his great big rescue plan. Jesus died on the cross to fix the broken relationship between people and God because of sin. And when we and when he came back to life, he showed that God is more powerful than darkness and death. Jesus died with a crown of thorns, but he became alive and king forever. Now he wears a crown of gold and jewels. Jesus is king forever and that's our bottom line. He is king of this world. He is king of heaven and he wants to be king of your heart. Today on Easter Sunday, let's celebrate Jesus, the king forever. So lift your hearts, lift your voices. Let's celebrate and give thanks to Jesus, the king forever. Let's pray a prayer of thanksgiving thankfulness to Jesus who is not dead but is the king forever. Jesus thank you that it is Easter Sunday. Thank you that we can celebrate that you rose from the dead. Jesus that you conquered sin. God thank you that our relationship with you is fixed because of what Jesus did for us. God, help us to remember that today and always and celebrate your great love for each and every one of us. Thank you that you love us so much that you sent Jesus to take the punishment for our sins. Help us to remember that great love today and always. In Jesus' name, everyone said, amen. Hi, welcome back. We are here. Uh... Hey! About to witness something amazing, right, Kim? Incredible! Um, now, Kim. Life changing. Do you love all things beautiful? I love things that are so beautiful and sparkly and wonderful. So we are here today to witness something amazing, and that is painted eggs. Yay! So on the clock will be two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes, Kim. What do they? What do they need to okay, put so on their eggs? They need to make it creative. It needs to be innovative. It needs to be inspirative, and it needs to be wonderful. Yes. And not chocolate because the answer, the winner, it gets the bot, the giant chocolate. The giant chocolate. All right, giant contestants, chocolate. are we ready? Yes. yes. Here we go. Three, two, one, four. All right. All right, so um, contestants over here, Zach, what is your aim? To paint. Good aim. Wait, Good okay. Aim. What Good is, aim. Um, what, you, what is your technique right now? I want the egg to speak to you. It speaks to me. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm listening. Okay, what's Sonia? What's your inspiration? My inspiration is Easter. That is good. That, that is, is relevant. Um, that is also very inspirative. <laughs> inspirative. Okay, what is your inspiration? Um, Zach. Oh. I don't know how far you're gonna go with that since I'm the judge. Does Zach know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey. Yeah. He does know. He does. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm just really hard at work. Okay. What's your inspiration? Uh, it's actually making me kind of hungry. Oh. You should oh. Eat it. Kim, these are not safe for eating eggs. This Do is, they know that? D this is um, this is strictly poison. Oh, I hope not. Kimmy. Okay. Nice. <laughs> so over here we have a um, one minute to go. Brown and green kind of tree-looking thing. How, how would you explain your masterpiece? A brown and green tree-looking thing. Creative, innovative, and what, have we, what kind of, have you got a marbling technique here, Hannah? I mean, I don't think it really needs words to, words to describe. I think it speaks for itself. I think it's a beautiful marbling seconds. technique. Okay. Um, look, what have we got over here, Sanjay? I've got a panorama of a scene. 30 seconds. Um, so is this panorama, one of the panoramas that when you take it, it's like you kind of miss a little bit or you bump up and down so that the photo's kind of blurry? And or Kim, is it? Kim, no, Kim, mine's perfect. Beautiful as well. Beautiful. Yeah. Panorama's it's, beautiful. Yeah. 16 seconds. Okay, great. Okay, and I can see that this, this looks a lot like Zach. Have you got any? Yes, pants? I've actually added a green KTV nice. shirt as well. Oh, so, wow. Uh, yeah. That Just is very uh, creative. Um, what have we seconds. got here? I put some Three, crosses on my two, head. Two, one. Very Jesus. Time is up, everybody! All right, like a nice parade, take your eggs around the front. Take your eggs around the front. And Kim will uh, assess. Okay, come and speak into the mic. And use your best expressing to tell me about your expressing. egg. This is my egg. It has three crosses on it. 
Thank you for sharing. Okay, who's next? <laughs> this is my egg, and it looks like Zach. <laughs> okay, who's next? Uh, mine is because Harry and I are co-hosts, so we think the same. Mine is also three crosses, you know, to represent Easter, the time when Jesus died, but also came back to life. Lit. Wow. Okay, who's next? This is my egg. It speaks for itself. Thank you. Wow, it is speaking to me. Wow, I can hear it. Can, can you hear it? Oh, oh. It's, it's very professional here. Um, well, what's your egg like? This is my egg. It's about my favorite invention, the invention of gravity, when Isaac Newton had an apple fall on his head. Wow, that is very interesting. Kim, are we ready to announce the winner? I think I need to think about that for a second. Just, just give me can a we, second. Can to... we have a bob egg bobbing? Um... No, oh, that's good. Is that good? Is that is is this helping you think? This is helping me think. <laughs> it's like the characters. When All right. You choose... oh, I can't decide. Everybody at okay. home, drum roll, please. And the winner is... of the egg decorating competition is. Yes! I don't know who to choose. It's all too good. He goes to Eli. Uh, it's just fresh and it's Congratulations. Just, it was just so well accurate. It was the brown eyes and the brown smile. Thank you so oh, much for joining us this Easter Sunday. So many beautiful See you guys art. next time. So much beautiful art.